Hello, this is Michael from Studio One Expert. This video is the next chapter in a little video series I'm doing called UAD on Base. The idea is each chapter focuses on a different aspect of processing base using UAD plugins in Studio One 3. This chapter is titled UAD on Base Part 4 EQ. UAD makes many great EQ plugins, too many to cover in this quick video. So I picked a few, so let's go ahead and get started. The UAD EQ plugins we'll be test driving in this video on base are the API 550A, the MOG EQ4, the Neve 1073, the Pultec EQP1A, the TubeTec PE1C, and the Helios 69. Now this is not a scientific level match test. In fact, I will probably get nowhere near level matching. Hopefully it will give you an idea of how these UAD EQ plugins sound on a bass track. However, I will go for a similar type of EQ treatment with each within the available EQ frequencies and EQ options as much as possible. For example, I'm gonna boost 100 Hertz a few dB. I think they all have a 100 Hertz band except the MOG EQ4. I will sweep around the 300 to 500 hertz range with a slight boost or cut, just checking how the EQ affects that range of the bass. That's normally a range of the bass that I sometimes like to cut or sometimes like to boost. And I will try and get some attack or air by boosting the top any way I can with available options. Without further ado, let's check out some UAD EQ on bass.
think using any of these UAD EQ plugins would result in a great bass sound. They all sound good. Considering this particular bass track isn't very bright, and if what you're going for with this bass track is a brighter sound, I think the Mog EQ4 really brought out some air with the Mog EQ4 Air Band. I'm not suggesting it's the winner. They all sound fantastic. They all are doing their own thing. Just depends on what you're going for. But if you were trying to really ring out some top end of a dark sounding bass, you might want to reach for the Mog EQ4. I hope this gave you an idea of what these UAD EQs sound like on bass. If you're already a UAD user, head over to Universal Audio's website to demo these or any UAD plugins. If you're not already a UAD user and are interested in UAD technology, I also suggest you head over to Universal Audio's website to learn more. Thanks for watching.